This is a huge, huge, huge success and progress because <clears throat> the payment of fees for educating our children has brought, for the most part, an, an inordinate burden on parents. Now, freed from having to pay school fees, parents are able to provide a better livelihood to their families. Moreover, more than 9.6 million children benefit from the National School Nutrition Program. They get free textbooks, scholar transport, wherever and whenever we can, and child support grants provided by the Department of Social Development, another one of our government departments. We commend the many initiatives to provide learning support where the need is greatest. These concerted efforts signify our commitment as a government to enhancing the education landscape of our country, ensuring that every child has the opportunity to succeed, irrespective of their background. By addressing these challenges head on, we affirm our dedication to fulfilling Mandela's vision of education as the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world, he said. We aim to prepare every child in our country for success in a rapidly evolving global context. Our commitment is demonstrated through the three-stream curriculum model, which incorporates technical, vocational, and occupational subjects into basic education. This aligns with the nation's skills requirement and education objectives, moving beyond traditional academic subjects to expand a learner's prospects for the future, but also to respond to the changing world economic landscape, changing the world of work, which requires multi-skilling, which requires new skills, which requires upskilling, and which also requires broadening of skills. Next year, we are poised to expand the educational stream into the further education and training phase. <clears throat> this expansion is a testament to our resolve to ensure no learner is left behind. Early childhood development is a key priority for the government, crucial to shaping our nation's future. Currently, we have developed the 2030 strategy for early childhood development programs. This strategy outlines a comprehensive plan to achieve universal access to quality ECD programs by 2030. To ensure that we reach universal access to ECD programs for children aged three to five, we will need to provide an, a quality access process so that we can have an additional 830,000 children brought into the net. This is over and above the 2.2 million children in this age group who are already accessing ECD programs. We can agree that the essence of quality education systems lies in the professionalization and quality of the teachers who are fundamental at the school level. They are crucial to developing the skills, the knowledge, and competencies of our country's needs for faster economic growth. Last week, <clears throat> South Africa hosted the 14th International Teacher Task Force Policy Dialogue Forum. It emphasized the need for qualified teachers to achieve sustainable development goals and support the Africa Agenda 2063. 
the forum concluded that global investment in teachers is essential to ensure their competent professionalism and support. We will do everything possible to continue supporting our teachers who are the backbone of our education system and who are the combatants for the silent revolution that is currently happening in basic education. I am profoundly aware of the pivotal role that mother tongue instruction plays in the fabric of our democracy. It is a cornerstone of the essential reforms we undertake in basic education and speaks to the broader imperative of decolonizing education. This goes beyond merely ensuring that our children can read with comprehension. It is a vital component of our commitment to educational transformation. I want to express my deep support for this development, acknowledging its significance in our journey towards basic education reforms that are now underway. Our nation's history reminds us of the profound impact of language as a tool that was used for subjugation and oppression. In recognizing this, our commitment to decolonization and transformation becomes even more urgent, ensuring that language is a bridge to knowledge. And it is also an empowerment tool <clears throat> rather than a barrier. Today, all national AU agenda 2063 frameworks and international organizations such as UNESCO endorse the implementation of mother tongue instruction as a pivotal strategy for addressing literacy challenges. The widespread support recognizes the fundamental role of education in one first language in enhancing learning outcomes and improving literacy rates. In conclusion, let us double our efforts to ensure our children stand on equal footing. This means all shall have access to public schools, the assurance of being taught by a qualified teacher, and the provision of simple workbooks, textbooks, and stationery. It also means having the necessary learning tools, dignified facilities, such as sanitation, clean running water, basic electricity, and a clean, welcoming environment that guarantees safety for both learners and teachers. You'll be amazed how engendering and creating an environment, a physical environment, just changes positively so the mood amongst teachers, learners, and anyone who participates in a learning facility. And it is this that sometimes we don't lay emphasis on. I have seen how when physical environment changes, how it just adds a spring to the heels of teachers, how it just opens up the minds of learners. These are small, at times little things that need attention, that once attended to, just opens up a brave and a bold new world. As we attend to the delivery of education and improving our curriculum, we unleash an energy source 
that is unstoppable. And it is these learners who we must unfree, free up so that they can fly. And you are the cohort, the group of people who are best equipped to do so. So in your Lakhutla today, I encourage you to be bold, to be forward-looking, to be creative, so that we can unshackle all the chains that continue to keep our nation back. So get on with it. And I wish you Lakhutla very well. And it's always a joy to be present in your Lakhutla. I'm just so sorry that I'm in Cape Town today. Thank you very much. And goodbye.